Hello everyone and welcome back to Modern Warships with Terry. Today we'll talk a little bit about anti-ship cruise missiles. Because uh, I think one of the things you hear in chat at the moment, mostly in game, is oh my gosh, all those missiles. Uh, missiles are probably one of the primary weapons at the moment to destroy enemy ships. And as we've seen in the last video uh, with the Caspian Sea Monster, you can actually do a, 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 a frankly ridiculous amount of damage with cruise missiles if you play it correctly. So uh, at tier 2, which is where I'm playing at right now, uh, what missiles do we have in the game? We have the American BGM-109 Tomahawk. The Tomahawk's been around for a long time. It's a subsonic cruise missile and it, there are many variants of it. It's, it's a quite smart missile, all in all but uh, it is a little bit dated. Uh, same with the P-27 Mosquit, that's a Soviet, and uh, I think it's an anti-ship missile, and the P-800 Onyx is a, much, is a more modern replacement for this. So uh, the Onyx is actually a supersonic missile. And lastly, uh, we, we have the um, Indian Brahmos, which is based on the Mosquit, and it's an Indian-Russian cooperation, and is probably one of the best uh, supersonic missiles at, at the moment, although it's obviously always up to debate. And we've got a Chinese missile, which is a little bit special in game. We, we've got two, uh, two, two, uh, two Russian and a Chinese and Indian and um, and a an American missile. So, how do these compare? Now, obviously, if we're looking at the actual stats on these things, then we'll, we'll see very quickly that, for example, the Tomahawk has a damage of 12,000, whereas something like the Brahmos has a damage of 18,000. So, obvious first thought, well, this this one's better. Well, it isn't. Um, it depends, or let me put it rather to say, it depends. I'm not sure with the speed, because again, Tomahawk subsonic, uh, the, uh, uh, the Onyx and the Brahmos are supersonic, but um, I'm not sure with the Chinese one, but I don't know if that's modeled in game or if they're all flying at pretty much the same speeds, but, uh, if we are comparing the damage numbers on these things, it's obvious that they have different different amounts of damage, but we have to look at the reload as well. So if we're taking the reload into account, that gives us, and, and this is these are the base values without upgrades, but that gives us the, uh, well, the DPS really. So if we're breaking this down and looking at the numbers, it turns out that the Tomahawk actually has the second highest DPS in the game together with the, uh, just, just after, very little after the CJ-20. And actually, the, the Brahmos is on the lower end, together with the Mosquit, because the reload on the Brahmos with 14 seconds is just very, very long. So what does that mean? Um, it means that these missiles are actually pretty much, they're all good. Uh, the, the, the DPS range isn't that huge, and you have to actually get them on target. Which brings us also to the Chinese one, which I haven't even tried yet. But for example, here you see these things have two rounds in burst. So you're firing two missiles at once, which means I'm not sure if this counts towards the total ammunition count. So are we firing, do we get 36 bursts of two or do we get 36 missiles in total? I would have to actually try this. I haven't tried yet. But um, the interesting question here also becomes what is the, um, what is the maximum potential damage? And uh, if we just if we just uh, multiply the, uh, the the base damage with the ammo count, uh, there the Brahmos comes out uh, very much on top. So if you get all of the missiles on target, you're doing a lot of damage, but your DPS isn't is actually the second lowest in the game. So missile spam. If we're looking at if we're looking at ships. Uh, we, and we, we, we have to dis, uh, distinguish between ships like, for example, the Independence, which has a single missile launcher. Uh, we've got uh, missile crew, like we've got missile destroyers like the Ali Burke, which has two of them. Uh, we have multi-purpose destroyers, and this isn't made qu isn't quite made clear here, but we have multi-purpose destroyers like the Gravely, which uh, only have one as one cruise missile launcher, but although she is actually an Ali Burke class but has more in terms of AA and uh, things like grenade launchers and, so, and uh, anti-submarine warfare possibilities. And then we've got, um, we've got obscure things like, uh, like the, 
like the Ekrano plan, which we've talked uh, we've talked about uh, last time, and uh, that gets that thing's got three missile launchers. So, how how do you how do you defend or how do you use missiles offensively offensively, and how do you defend against missiles? Defense against missiles is reasonably easy. Uh, you can either use your AA or you have to use the map. If you're in something very fast, like this thing or the independence, you have to use the map because the AA is not great. But for example, if we look at the Gravely, the Gravely has... Uh, uh, actually, the Gravely is not a good example. Let's, uh, let's look at... Yeah, let's look at this thing, for example. This thing has, has four air defense systems uh, that's built around the center here. Now, they're all of the same type, so you can't mix and match. But she has a decent amount of AA, so she can actually take on a reasonable amount of missiles without, well, not with 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 the with her own active defenses. On top of that, you have things like passive defenses. So the chaff, for example, and the chaff is surprisingly. I mean, my first thought was like, oh, okay, wait, this is a Second World War thing, right? Is this still? Is this actually still? A thing. Yes, it is. So, for example, the uh, USS Missouri during the Iraq War has used chaff against Iraqi anti-ship missiles. So, ra radar scatter through, uh, yeah, <laughs> confetti launchers is still very much a thing. And the way this works in the game is also quite important to to realize these things because uh, a chaff launcher, once you shoot it, will completely. Um, We'll get all missiles that are currently targeting you to stop targeting you. So you want to use it in scenarios where you have an overwhelming amount of missiles incoming that you know that your AA can't handle. So you have to know what your AA is and what it can do and what it can't do. And you have to judge um, like how many missiles are currently coming in. So let's uh, let's look at an example because I've, I've got a, I think I've got a good example here between these two extremes on how this works. So here I am, um, once again, on my Ekrano plan, and we're playing on Arctic, so there's plenty of uh, islands and icebergs and stuff around that I can use for missile defense. So what I want to do in terms of offense, and given that I am a pure missile ship, and I have no other weapon systems like, than these missiles, first of all, I do need to keep an eye on my, my ammunition count. But um, I'm going to sail around the side here and use that island, use my speed to get to that island there, which is where nobody usually expects me to be, and see if I can get flanking shots on the enemy team. It's slightly risky because there's a carrier in play, but um, let's see if we can get some flanking shots out at whoever is is parked on the other side there. So, because I I, I need open ground, I don't want to engage enemy ships in a position where uh, they can easily use 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 the icebergs as missile defense. So there we've got a USS Gravely. Uh, Gravely has a reasonably decent AA, uh, but it's, it's more of one of the multi-role, multi-purpose ships. And I'm lobbing them just around the corner there and getting actually 60,000 points of damage. So that was nice, that was a good start. And we'll see who else is who else we can spot around the corner. Now again, I'm stopping here. There's a Nimitz, so we can get some perspective shots out of that thing in case the AA happens to be destructed at the time. Uh, independence is a prime target for these things because, uh, yeah, it, once again, it doesn't have a great amount of, uh, of AA. So yeah, we got one shot down, one, one missile hit in onto the Nimitz, and uh, another good another good plonking at the, um, at the Independence there. But there comes the Gravely back. Now, uh, obviously the Gravely is shooting at me, and I'm gonna have to back up, and I'm gonna use the, uh, I'm gonna use the island to my defense. Now, he's on reasonably low health, but uh, he's obviously coming for me. Now, I, I can't really engage him in, 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 an open, like, in an open engagement. And I'm in a defensible position, but he has to rely on his chaff. And there you can see they, they got gray, and uh, he's, he's defending that way. Now, the chaff charges obviously are limited. And uh, you see this and incoming missiles having a red circle around them? That's because they're aiming, they're targeted at me. So I can see which, which enemy ammunition is targeted at me and which one isn't. So once again, I'm doing the side scraping around the corner here, but uh, this this is he can sail in open water because he has some decent missile defense, and in, he's using chaff as well to defend if he sees that his missile defense systems can't keep up with the barrage because he's being shot at from other directions as well. So you you always want to use missiles that target that have have their AA otherwise occupied. 
and uh, ganging up on enemy ships and overwhelming their air defense systems with missiles or other things is a good a good way of doing this. So once again he's using chaff but he's using it slightly too late so one of my missiles tends to get through and I think there's a torpedo incoming as well that he's that he's missed and um, yeah there my missiles are just hitting the ground but he's dead. So um, the, that's the kind of the main difference between a f very slow ship with a decent AA and a very fast ship with a very poor AA. So if you're in a faster ship, the faster your ship goes, the more you have to use the environment for defense. Either you have to sit next to your friendly ships that have good AA, so especially carriers and some of the destroyers have usually be, usually a reasonably good AA. Uh, the smaller frigates and corvettes, not so much. These things are scouts. They're not there for missile defense. So uh, you want to... Yeah, if, if you don't have island cover, either because, you, well, it, it's the position is such or you're playing on storm because there aren't any islands, then um, then you, you can park yourself next to something that has a very good AA and just use their AA umbrella or you can, um, or you can use the islands. And if you're playing offensively, look for targets that are isolated or targets that are currently busy. Uh, because if their AA is distracted by too many things, then, uh, then yeah, nothing's gonna happen. Lastly, uh, re really last point, um, your AA tracking, so your AA comes off track when you are moving the ship. So when you are maneuvering left or right. So if you are going for AA missile defense, don't steer the ship. Keep them in a straight line, unintuitively, which is obviously a problem if you're dodging torpedoes, but keep it in a straight line and let your AA do the work. So know what your AA can do, know what your missiles can do, and pick your targets. And then you can um, be very, very successful with these things. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye.